Ah, well, the old rotifate is working well. I've got the discs on at the moment on the edges. Um, you need to run it with the discs or without discs. I tried it without discs. It digs in a bit more, but it's a little bit more difficult to control. I've got another plot to do. So, uh, there's some, some purple sprouting and kale that I've just left. And uh, this is a plot where I had my sweet corn last year. Half a plot. So, um, what is it? Uh, 128 square meters, 130 square meters, sort of thing. So that's not too bad. Go on to the next one. Go. Hi, it's John. It's the uh, 19th of April 2014, and uh, we've got all this land here rotivated. This is where I've had the sweet corn last year and I was going to be giving it up but the person who was going to take it decided they had too much on so I've got it again which is nice. Um, so I've motivated it and now I'm using one of my favourite tools, it's a little drag, drag hoe and it, uh, this is a small one so it doesn't take much effort and I'm just using it as a rake really and raking the stuff off and the tines are just smashing the soil up a little bit and creating a tilt and um, we're getting all the lumps and rubbish up here which I, I shall just put into the side. This is uh, very much functional gardening to create food and uh, product. And Helen is here with me helping to do the work and we've just swapped over I've got the camera now and uh, what um, what were you hoping we might have planted Helen? Um, broad beans. Broad beans? Mm, my favourite. Aha and I've also brought some onion sets down to put in and uh, you should, I'm just going to ch chuck it all about chuck them all around and what grows, grows. Right. right, well I've been using the, the drag hoe and we've got an area about 5 metres by 5 metres raked down. Uh, drag hoe and then using this rake which um, I bought this for my brother years ago and then when he went to America he didn't want to take it with him so he gave it me back. And that's about 20 or more years ago. But the good thing about a good solid rake is that you can obviously rake with it forwards, but you can also push with it. So if I want to get all this rubbish right up to the edge of the fence here, like this one, I'm going to leave a gap, you can use it to push it up, which is something you don't often think of with a rake. Now we've got a big, a good big bucket of uh, broad bean seeds. They're um, ones that we've saved, so there's no shortage of them. And Helen's just scattering them about. I've done it before and, and then I rake them in. Saves all that bothering about with rows and everything. And they can look after themselves. And the first, you want to get broad beans in early. And then, then they avoid black fly. Of course, if you can get them in in the autumn, um, then you, they're, they're even more uh, black fly resistant but um, you can uh, you can normally get away with it planting them it's the um, 19th of April today so and then you can pick pinch the tips out when they get bigger so that's a good big area um, I haven't had any luck with freezing broad beans because my freezer broke down when I had a lot frozen and then after they'd been defrosted they didn't taste so nice you're looking forward to eating some broad beans, are you, Helen? I am indeed. So we've covered over the broad beans, raked them in and poked a few odd ones in. Now I've prepared another piece of land here, about five metres by four metres, for putting onion sets in. 
their stir on and somebody gave them to me. They had them spare and uh, they're, they're some nice onion sets actually, nice and firm. They haven't sprouted yet. I've uh, made a line with a cane and put one one row in. Um, I'm putting about three inches apart and then I think I'll put the rows about a foot apart. It's from my memory what you put them as. Well this is Easter Saturday. Uh, traditionally people say about planting potatoes on Good Friday. Um, but this year, Good Friday is a bit late, but I haven't got any potatoes planted, well, I've got not properly, I haven't got any potatoes planted properly yet. These, uh, these are going in quite nicely though, these, um, these onion sets. About one, two, three, four, on the fifth row now. I'm using the cane to mark out the rows. These plants we've got about, these are caper spurge, the mole plant, to keep the moles away. Um, got the onions all planted. Well, it's about 20 in, 20 in, 30 in a row. Just count up the rows, Helen. How many rows there are of onions there? Nine rows, and I think it's about 30, isn't it, on a row? Um, do you wish to count? <laughs> so about, no, don't matter, about 300. Maybe about 300, uh, 300 onions there, Helen. That will keep us going, won't it? A bit of onion soup? <laughs> Plenty of onion soup. Onion um, chains? What are they called? Onion um, plats? Yeah. Hanging on the staircase. Oh, yeah. Here's the onion sets we put in about a month or six weeks ago. Um, Helen's weeded them about twice or three times now. Um, best to keep on top of the weeds. They're doing alright. They might... Uh, they might come properly or they might go to seed. I don't think they were very good any insects. I think they're a bit old, but um, we'll have something off them. Euphorbia's got some nice colour. Globe artichokes have done very well this year. Winter hasn't knocked them at all. Anyway, bye for now.